thank you all for coming. Uh, it's exciting to be here. Uh, it's exciting as this race is unfolding to see what's happening as the momentum swings in the favor of our campaign. Um, after 12 years back in the private sector as a small business owner, uh, it's very interesting to take a look at running for office again. Let's start with transportation. The state's transportation budget is facing a $30 million deficit right now. Uh, do you have a strategy for either generating new revenue or shifting money over to that budget? Um, I would answer that in, in two different, I mean, two very important answers to that question. The first one, when, when you look at the spending caps that are in place, there are going to be certain parts of the government that we are going to reprioritize spending to, and transportation, you have to start on one of those. So while our department heads will be asked to come in with budgets that comply with what's in this picture, after we have that position established, we are going to look at certain parts of the budget and say, this is more important than that, and redirect our priorities toward that, and transportation will clearly be one of those. So now let me jump over to, to the rest of your question. First thing in transportation is the money that's collected in tax dollars for transportation will be walled off and will in fact be spent for transportation. That's one. Second thing is, and this is a proposal that, that we're working real hard on and I think is important, we recognize that additional revenues are going to be needed for transportation. Transportation is a huge problem. Problem. When we saw that bridge close here in Milwaukee, that, that had a staggering impact on anyone's ability to attract jobs or keep jobs in the state of Wisconsin. If you were in Wisconsin on the day that bridge closed and you were thinking about bringing your business to this state, I suspect you would have gotten in your car and headed back out of the state to someplace else in the country. If we do not have an infrastructure that can carry the goods to market from the businesses that we bring to the state, we're not going to bring jobs here. So the second part of this is we would suggest that we take the sales tax from transportation-related items and redirect it from the general fund over into the transportation fund. And that will give us additional revenues with which to fix our roads and make sure that travesty that happened here in Milwaukee does not happen again in Milwaukee or elsewhere in the state. Wisconsin law establishes a 10%, uh, generating 10% of our electricity from renewable resources by 2015, yet um, in the effort to reach those goals, uh, Wind farms, projects like that, run into local opposition. There's concerns out there about drawing a lot of these renewable, this renewable electricity from neighboring states, things like that. Um, what would you do to make sure that Wisconsin hits those goals, or would you change those goals? Well, what, what, and it's so puzzling to me as a business owner to look at how government acts and how they think they're going to get responses. Government thinks if they mandate and dictate and tax that they can get what they want. What government should be doing is getting out of the way to encourage businesses to develop these products in a market-driven manner. That is to say, when the business does it, it is financially profitable to the business so they can employ people, and it's also economically desirable for the piece person that's purchasing it. If the government would get out of the way, we could develop and achieve these goals independently in the private sector with market-driven solutions that create jobs. 